Alright guys, we are starting a playthrough. It's a let's build based off of different ones, uh, but one of the main influences is Dr. Gloon's uh, house flipper. But instead of doing a house, we are actually going to do an entire, uh, the entire of Newcrest. And the rules are pretty simple on how I'm going to do this. Uh, everything he can make here is what he can sell to make money to build up a uh, new crest. Uh, anyone who's a long-term fan of a uh, long-term fan of the Sims 4 uh, nope, we're not going to set that here, guys. Knows that it is as far as I remember, it's been a while since I've checked it, the only empty uh, residential slash business slash sim build area you can build from scratch. A lot of sims like Little Sims, uh, and uh, oh, Lollipop, and several other ones uh, have used this for their own custom games. And that's what we're going to do. <coughs> Each lot costs differently. Uh, this lot here is 1500 But we're doubling the cost of the lots for the, the purchase. Um, now, he won't be stuck solely here. Actually, that might actually be a good idea. We'll, we'll go ahead and make... So he can't leave Newcrest until he gets two houses set up and one business set up. Um, so say if I were to do here, it'd be three thousand. If I do this one, it's going to be six thousand, etc. Um, and it's going to be regular cost for like the walls and everything. So. Uh, the, the backstory for this game, this, uh, let's build slash let's play, is he is a creator that, uh, was sent by a corporation, uh, to basically create the city, uh, the city of the future. Uh, and he was given, let's go ahead and go to our house. He was given uh, this build, a uh, tiny home, and a shop to fabricate and basically draw up blue plans when he will go around and building something. To add to the difficulty, I decided to start him in winter. Any long-term fans of Fallout 4 knows winter is one of the hardest seasons to do. The, the sims will get cold quite quickly. Uh, you can't put, grow any plants. So basically, that's where he got to build. Now, uh, he's starting with a $10,000 build a budget for the beginning. Since we aren't going to be doing any recycling until it maybe gets starts building up, we won't be doing no recycling and we can't do any planting or anything for now. Uh, because it's an empty world. So let's go ahead. Uh, but as you can see, it's all almost all the crafting here. You got the. Uh, Got our little uh, pew, I can't remember what it's called, but you do all your pictures here. Uh, 
wood fabricator, fabricator machine, busy maker, uh, I believe that's a cauldron, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, also, he can use, uh, uh, train, use computer to train his skills, uh, and do, like, online jobs. But they have to be relative to building. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and hit play. For now, of course, his needs aren't going to be the greatest. I don't recall giving him these traits. This one and this one I gave him, but I didn't give him these two negative traits. Hmm, we'll have to figure that out later. So, he's fine for now. Let's, uh, go ahead and see. We will start with... Alright, so it's a network, household, career. Let's see, what kind of career can we get him? I haven't done all these at, in a long time. It's literally been years since I played this game. We're gonna give him city, art, Architect. Architect. And planner. Oh. Well, see, art slash plan. Description. Uh, hired. by corporation to create the city of the future. Hired by a corporation to create the city of the future. Uh, plans Build, plan, build, and decorate both interior and exterior. Uh, Short, sweet, to the point. Uh, let's see. Computer day. Alright. Let's see what kind of odd jobs he can find. <coughs> Dealing numb -ums. Just made a huge order from Bad Guapo. Bugs for research. I packed some boxes, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm in my manicure. Uh, my bugs luxury looks like my aunt help. It keeps going out this way. Uh, I may I'm at the beach. TV hooked up. I just got a brand new TV. Meh. Those don't seem like it'd be any fun. Let's check the on here. Um, what kind of job should we give him? Uh, problems in the world of kind of modern energy of solution. Take your love of technology and pursue a career in engineering. We might do that later, but for now, 
Let's go ahead and purchase ingredients. What do we want? We'll buy three of everything. See where that costs us. Died alone, it's costing us 1600 almost 1700 Then we got, we can't, we're gonna have to purchase a Mac, uh, B, but, uh, where is our fabricator? We'll go here first. Fabricate, let's see what we can fabricate. Uh, we need to buy resources for that. Uh, well, no, we won't do that yet. Uh, we take away another fifteen hundred. That would put it at. 5300 and 2. Mm. Did I do it wrong? Give me a second, guys. Let me double check the code for this. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Testing. Seats. Two. Money. Fifty-three hundred and two. Back to live mode. There we go. All set. Now back to build mode. Alright. So it doesn't seem like it's going to let me change it to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build. And then uh, we'll just leave it as a bet and kind of just ignore that. You know, like that. There we go. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, we'll start out with that because we don't have a whole lot to play with on this. Alright, now we'll go here. Let's 
Alright guys, while I go ahead and do what I can on designing on the inside here, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the music up, I hope you enjoy it, uh, and I will be back after we get the basics done here. Alright guys, we're back. Obviously we couldn't do too much. We had to keep it kind of stylish and sleek, you know, because, well, it's a city of the future, so we will build it, you will own nothing, and you'll be happy. <laughs> 
Sorry, bad pun. So, as you can see, we're pretty much out of money. We're down to 102. So, we're going to go ahead and head back to our house. And see what we can do to make some money. I think we can do some pictures that we'll throw up in here. And we do have a little sales tail alert here. This will be when we need to really crunch for some money. We'll make some like candles and other stuff later on as we get. that for now. Mm. Okay, we can't do that yet. We need to use the bathroom. <coughs> and then we'll also have him take a shower. something for dinner mm. have lunch what will have him have on the glory Uh, as you can see now, more uh, heads up, uh, this is obviously a one person studio house basically, and it just has your basic necessities, your bathroom, your shower, sink, you know, basic washing, basic entertainment, a little TV right here. Now, just so you know, I did not build this one. I downloaded it from the gallery. All right, why is dumbass going to sleep yes. when he needed to be making food? I'm not sure. <laughs> I might need to add a thermostat in here. Um, you got food right here, dumbass. <laughs> oh, the intelligence of the Sims. The intelligence of the Sims. Alright, let's go here. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. We need to figure out how to get rid of these ones here. They do not go with this character at all.
go. Alright, let me go to the build real fast. Generation of the best selling summer set. So, you the latest is the technologies. Alright. Put that right there. Now back to live. Let's see. Let's go ahead and have him make some pictures. A little bigger painting. Now there's a secondary reason for this video, uh, this uh, this uh, let's play. It's not going to simply be The Sims because it's just, if any uh, longtime player of The Sims or watcher of The Sims know the it takes forever for anything to be done unless you fast forward it. And instead of fast forwarding it, we are going to have conversations. <laughs> There are going to be all kinds, from political, to religious, to scientific, to uh -huh. theology, to oh. just my opinions on things. I mean, Grenade. that's the whole point of this. It's my channel. I'm hoping to get people interested in what I'm doing. And, uh, so, uh, my, uh, the... Building this new class is like also another, it's like a uh, symbology to how I see the world right now because the world isn't in its greatest shape right now, socially, economically, politically, it's just not. Um, let's see, one thing I forgot to do is get a recycler. But we're going to go ahead and put this first painting of his up here. Let's go ahead and frame it. There we go. His first artwork. I'm so happy about it. So, anyways, back to the subject. Uh, another big thing about problems are, a lot of the problems in today's world is, uh, there's too many people that think they can't be wrong. Uh, I'm wrong often and many times and each time I'm wrong I try to learn the right way and learn Why? thing new but unfortunately most of the people in today's world will just yell at each other belittle each other or just flat out ignore each other this is not a great thing it can huh? cause all kinds ah. of problems Belka. Um, and one of the biggest problems is if we don't have communication, there's only one route left of the world, and that huh. is violence, fighting, conflict. Huh. Uh, uh, but we're not at that point yes. yet. We still have hope to come back from the brink. Clapping. And um, 
<laughs> I really hope we we can come together as a society, global or uh, national or international, and just stop hating on each other so much and expecting everyone to oh, agree with Lana. our fantasies and our delusions and our percep oh. fractured perception of oh. reality. I mean, everyone has a right to their opinion, not everyone is right. Hmm. And even the person that may be right one moment is likely to be wrong the next. So, we're just humans. Hmm. Just plain and simple. Ah. There's no point in doing, hmm. you know, being bitter because ah. someone won't use our words, our, our belief in our God, our our uh, divinity or in some cases satanic demonology ah. like uh uh morning uh lucifer morning star you know it these are all just parts of a whole and there's really nothing we can do to change it because it's just what it is I mean, um, like for example, let's uh, talk about uh, Jason. Uh, what was his name? He just did try that in a small town. Uh, let me look up the name real fast. Jason Aldean, I believe is the name, but I'm going to go ahead and double check that real fast. I don't want to give, you know, information out that might be false when I could have easily just looked it up. Yeah, Jason Aldean. Alright. His song... You know, you can take it however you want. I mean, it was neither great nor poor. But unfortunately, a lot of people on both sides took it out of proportion. Uh, as the author said himself, and a lot of people agree with him, it's simply explaining, like, we live in a small city, you know, that people live in small cities, small towns, to get away from all the craziness of urban life, you know, the fast paced, heated, and currently chaotic city life. Um, and he got a lot of slack, slack for it because he had, they called it BLM, BLM uh, protest, and they were actually Antifa riots. BLM started it, Antifa took it over. And that's not and the people of BLM aren't at fault for it it's just their movement got taken over during that action by someone uh, several someone who decided to you know take advantage of the chaos you know and it's sad because he, you know a lot of the BLM members believe in what they're saying is for black lives matter you know whatever side of the spectrum you, you stand on you can't argue with that black lives do matter i mean what life all life really matters but their point was black life matters that's what they wanted to get across to people they didn't want you know they know many of them know like you know <sighs> Cops lives matter, white lives matter, Asian lives matter, but that's not the message they were trying to deliver. The message they were trying to deliver is, as they said, black lives matter. That's what they were about. That's what they wanted to teach. You know, bring attention to it. <coughs> um, so they figured that, hey, he's hating on BLM, when he uh -huh. was actually just simply saying, no, we don't want, what he was saying is, we live in a small city, a uh, small what? town to get away from Historical all the crime, the chaos, <laughs> in, oh, in my right. opinion, 
the idiocy of most urban and city lives. You know, all about all the fights and arguments about pronouns, he, she, they, them, all about, you know, Democrats, Republicans, liberals, you know. Everyone's shouting at everyone and no one's talking. So, that's what he's saying. He said, don't bring that crap here. And if you do, there's going to be consequences. He wasn't saying he was going to lynch people or hang people. Again, this is my opinion. It's, I'm not saying I'm right or I'm wrong. It's my interpretation. But with the extreme backlash he got for it, it's just ridiculous. Someone did research on it and said, Oh, someone got lynched all the way back in 1929. It was a famous lynching. They were all famous, you know, to people. You know, and one of the cold hard facts is during those times it was a normal, normal thing. I mean, no one, uh, was it right? No. Was it horrible? Yes. It was one of the most horrible things you could ever do. You know, to another person. is take their life for stupidity. And... So... They felt it, you know, and that was brought out to the subject. And it's like... The truth of the matter is... You know, his song to him meant small town community. All other interpretations, both the good and the bad, oh, oh, it's about community, oh, it's about racism. It was all bold. It's all bull. Because that's what we think as listeners. That's not what the artist thinks and the creator thinks. Because another, FYI, Jason Aldean did not write the song, Try That in a Small Town. He bought the song. And <laughs> though his people did make the video, but here's the thing: people didn't start complaining oh. about it until after the video oh. came out. It had already been out since May. Sure. So what was the point? You know, what's the point of <laughs> talking smack about it? I mean, uh, another real uh, how do you say? Controversial artist would be Tom McDonald, but his, the thing he says and many artists actually said is haters are gonna hate. They're just they're we all as much to our haters as we do to our fans because they get the name out there. You know, yeah, it's negative, uh, negative results. You know, it, it's a negative perception, huh? but it is what it is. <laughs> Another thing yes. yeah, we got going on raving out is, is it okay to loot and riot, you know, loot and riot in the big cities that are viewed as racism, racist hubs? <sighs> I'm going to get a lot of heat and hate for this, but here's my opinion on it. My two cents. No, it's not okay. You're breaking the law. You know, you have a right to protest, but you don't have the right to destroy private property or public property. I mean, for crying out loud, that's our taxes you're destroying. We all, who anyone who works legit and pays taxes, pays for those you know, those police cars, the uh, government mother. buildings, the streets, you know, the community uh -huh. buildings. We what pay for that. So, you're not succeeding and hurting the people you think you're hurting when you destroy an urban center. For example, one, uh, Portland, Oregon. There was a major, just major controversy went on. Man... A mentally ill man 
who was diagnosed as mentally ill by the professionals. Um, said he was mentally ill, but he watched a lot of the news, you know, both left and right, main and alternative news, and he saw a Trump supporter. And he walked up to them and put two bullets in his chest. Thinking, and his opinion was he was scared for his life. Because here's this white guy that's supporting a Nazi, as people, for some godforsaken reason, keep claiming Trump and his staff were. Uh, they, uh,. You know, um, I'm trying to think of the political way of saying all this. It's hard. It really is. Uh, because it's such a, you know, touchy subject. But, it's the whole LGBTQ, you know, plus... All the other acronyms, I don't never remember them. Uh, push for trans awareness and uh, gender ideologies in the schools. You know, they want to say, well, there's no scientific proof that there's a difference between a man and a woman. Well, there is. I mean, anyone who's done biology for even high school biology no there's a major difference and it's not just because one can have a child and one can't there's a lot of other things going on but a lot uh, a lot of these uh, these events that go on is to push for example there was a book uh, uh, an ideal an ideological book that was short just short uh, pornography that they, people were posting in the K-6 libraries. Kids don't need to know about that stuff. Yeah, they need to be aware of the world and aware of their own minds and bodies, but just because you're a tomboy doesn't mean you're a trans. And just because you're a feminine man doesn't mean you're a trans or a gay. Because we have traits both you know, feminine, feminine and masculine traits on both sides of the spectrum. So, when people try to force, the, and we'll bring it back to the original subject, uh, people don't always agree on other people's ideology. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't understand why it's such a hot topic right now. Because there is nothing wrong with having your own opinion. You know, if you're hurting someone, then that's a different subject. But when you're not hurting anyone, then you're free to your thoughts, free to your opinion. Let's go ahead and get our guys some social... Social networking, check social media time. His social is pretty, pretty low. Poor guy. Like the lone man in a world by himself, trying to create society from the scratch. <coughs> there is a reason by the way, that I had made all those paintings and uh, I'm not just been making them so I could talk. I was actually making them so I could try to sell them to uh, be smart. <laughs> As you can, as you've seen, over, we'll go back to Man's World real fast.
We really didn't get a whole lot in here. We got a stove, a dishwasher, a counter, some windows, the walls, the floor, and, you know, TV itself, and uh, uh, this thing, I can't remember what it's called, but it has a heater underneath it, so you sit, you put your legs underneath it before you eat dinner and stuff. So... Let me see, what do I have here? Let's get some more funds from our, uh, people here. Let's go ahead and try to get 2,500. gives it a little more play money, but it makes it a little more dangerous for when bills come. So hopefully those make your style. Alright, now let's go ahead and get a small bathroom in here.
The next thing I will probably do to be able to walk through. I think we need to... Stand just a little bit. Yeah, this should work now. So we're gonna need 1900 for the fridge. How much are we gonna need for the bed? So we're gonna need 38, about 4,000. Let's go ahead and go back to the live play. Have him go home. Those are all listed for sale now. Um, yeah. Okay, he's doing something to get himself up. Uh, uh. All right, guys. We'll let, we'll let things sit for now, see how they go. Um, hopefully in the next episode we'll be able to finish the, his first house off. And make enough money that we can uh, buy a recycling uh, thing. So we can actually start, well we gotta do more than that. Mm, we gotta think about what to do for the next one. But hopefully... It will, uh, the, picture, the pictures will sell decently where we can finish off the other house and sell our first retail. Alright guys, 
thank you for watching if you enjoyed please uh hit that thumbs up if you haven't if you're new here and want to see more of my content please hit that subscribe and enjoy the music for the next few minutes thank you very much